Today at TISA we are going to be talking about Nairobi, city in the sun. Now we consider Nairobi, it is perhaps the second richest county in Kenya, which would mean better housing, better connectivity and networking, better institutions and of course a rising economy. If we consider all these factors, then we would expect the residents of Nairobi to be more happier and not only happier, but we would expect them to be more financially relaxed. This is because of the fact that they live in Nairobi. But is this really the case? Are the residents of Nairobi happy? Before we answer that, let's have a look at Kevin Sudi. Here is Kevin who lives, works and also studies in Nairobi. Now Kevin's rent is high and his transport cost increases daily and his health services are not affordable. This is definitely hard for him and he's getting really frustrated because of very few things he understands that the government should subsidize some of these costs for him and he should make his life easier because he lives in Nairobi. He would like to make his voice heard on how the government is spending money, whether in hospitals or in schools or in power and electricity around him. He just wants to make his voice heard, but he doesn't know how. He doesn't know where, he doesn't know when, or doesn't even know who to talk to. And he's a bit confused. Now, for Kevin Sudi, what he would like to understand is, first, the budget cycle, and of course, how it works. He thinks if he understood these two key principles, then he would be able to participate in the process, hold his government accountable, and of course, enjoy the benefits of being a resident of Nairobi. So, are you like Kevin Sudi today? Are you depressed? Are you clueless about the budget process and looking for a way out? Well, don't worry because you can visit www.tisa.org.ke where you can learn more about the budget process and of course how you can participate in the process. Created using Powtoon.